So colleges are back to school. Many are already back in session with orientation. Some have actually started classes. Others will be starting up in the next few weeks. And it is time for us to keep our eye on the culture that's being created around our country at a time when so many people are going off to a new environment for the first time, maybe experiencing for the first time without sort of a, the eye of family keeping an eye on them or guardians keeping an eye on them. Now, a lot of campuses do a great job of making sure they create a safe culture as much as they can uh, for their students. And we need to be vigilant about what kind of messaging is being seen on the campus as students are arriving. Why bring this up? Because recently a friend of mine, Captain Roy Nafaretta of the U.S. Navy, was taking his son to a basketball camp on a major Division I university campus. And as they're approaching the area of the fraternity houses, there was a stairwell to the fraternity house area. And at the bottom of the stairwell was the following image. Now, I'm going to warn you uh, that this image for some people is will be difficult to look at or difficult to read. And I don't mean visually hard to read what it says. I mean difficult to read as in it could be triggering or harmful. I want to be very upfront about that. I'm showing it because I think we need to talk about what is still going on in our culture. Here's the image. If you couldn't read the words, the words on the image said, Vagina smash tray. Obviously, this is disgusting. It's horrendous. Some of you might be thinking, what in the world does that even mean? Well, if you look up, use Urban Dictionary, use other locations for where you might hear current language that's being used or slang that's being used, there's no combination of that anywhere. So somebody actually put those words together. There is definitions for the concept of a smash tray. One of the versions is a, a woman who sleeps around and smokes. All right, which one, notice it's focused on a woman, a specific gender, very degrading. Now, obviously you put the word vagina in front of smash tray. You are speaking clearly to a specific genital area, which makes this way worse and degrading all the way around it's degrading, but makes it way worse. Why are we discussing this? Because we need you to be vigilant when you're on college campuses. If you're a parent dropping somebody off, you're a student on campus this fall and you run into something like this, this is what we call creating a culture of disrespect a culture that can make things uncomfortable. It can make people almost squeamish to walk by that and read that. Uh, and that is not a setting of education. That's not a culture built on respect and consent, which is what our mission is, a culture of consent and respect. So we want you to report. Report to the campus if you run into something like this. Uh, by the way, where this was located, uh, if you were in any way affiliated with Greek life, even if Greek life didn't have anything to do with this, You'd want to get that removed instantly because you don't even want to be affiliated with that kind of messaging. It's awful. And people I know that work in Greek life would agree with this 100%. This goes against everything the Greek life system believes in. Service to others, respect and honor. So you want to get rid of it. Report it. Parents, report to the campus. Hey, do you know this is there? Uh, let the If you don't know where to report it, stop by the campus police. Student affairs, though, on campus is normally going to want to hear about this. The dean, dean of students, student affairs, even the orientation directors, let them know. If you're a student, let the campus know. This is not acceptable. This is creating a culture of degradation. It's just not okay. Nothing about this is. Now, so you might be going, what's wrong with that? Because we should be able to live in a culture of respect and consent. And by the way, you can be very sexual in a culture based on consent and respect. So nobody's telling you, you have to be a prude and you can't talk about sex. Just the opposite. Talk about it in a way that treats it the way it should be, as a human being with dignity and respect. That's the key here. This kind of painting on a sidewalk lacks all concept of dignity and respect of fellow human beings. Completely lacks it. We need to end it. We need people to stand up and speak out when you see this so this can stop happening. This isn't new. We've seen this on other campuses, similar kind of degradation. Uh, over the past years, over many, really, decades, if you look at it, this is not new. We need to stand up finally and say, enough's enough. Speak out.